I'm Caitlin Harper, director of the Red Acropolis research team. We were wondering when you were gonna come around. How do you feel? Not bad, considering. We brought you here for treatment. Don't worry, you're fine. Just a little too much radiation. But I'm afraid your ship was destroyed. Destroyed? Wow. Well, that ship was the only part of the PTMC that I liked. We overheard your last transmissions to Valhalla Tower and tracked you to an outlying sector. Luckily, we've been keeping an eye on Post Turan for some time now. Something strange happened three months ago. Catch me through to Caitlin Harper. It's an emergency. What is it, Jerry? What's wrong? The robots have gone berserk. They're infected. They're destroying everything. What, what should I do? Infected? What are you talking about? Slow down! Jerry! I'd known Jerry for a long time. He was with the PTMC for years. Now they say they've never heard of him. That's when we got suspicious and started monitoring their transmissions. Isn't industrial espionage kind of illegal? Ah, oh, we tried notifying the Collective Earth Defense, but they don't want to hear about it. No one wants to mess with the PTMC. Great. Ruthless corporate bureaucrats on one side, amateur do-gooders on the other. We also discovered that Post Turan has been doing some strange things as of late. In fact, while you were in stasis, the PTMC was actually testing the virus, modifying it. All we really know about it is that it is extremely advanced nanotechnology. It can reprogram a robot in seconds. that virus is. We need to stop it. The director of the lab, Dr. Schweitzer, escaped, and he might be willing to talk to us. Would you help us find him? I don't suppose he's in the Hilton across the street. The PTMC will be guarding him carefully. We don't have anyone with your special talents. That's why we need you. Okay. That's why you need me. Now tell me why I need this. What's in it for me? We could have left you floating out there. You owe us. Yeah, but there's no way I can do anything without a ship. We'll get you a new ship. But what about... With some weapons we acquired. Well, I... We'll even throw in a guide bot. Please? Okay, okay, I'll go. But only this once, understand? The PTMC owes me a lot of money, and I intend to collect it. That may not be as easy as you think. We followed a PTMC signal. That's how we found you. There was a pre-programmed overload sequence deliberately transmitted to disable your warp core. It was definitely intentional. I'd think twice before I showed up in his office to ask for a paycheck. <laughs> Poor material defender. Welcome to basic flight and weapons training. You will learn about the basic controls of your ship, ranging from flight to weapons. Let's start with thrusting and sliding controls. You can move in any one of six directions, but for this exercise, only one control will be enabled at a time. Use the forward thrust key to move straight ahead. Return to your original position with the reverse thrust key. Use the slide left key to move to your left. 
Return to your position with the slide right key. Now use the slide up key to move up. And finally, return to the start position with the slide down key. Good. Let's repeat the process quickly. Forward and reverse. Left and right. Up and down. Excellent. Now continue sliding down to proceed to the next stage. In this exercise, your ship will remain in its current orientation. Using the arrows on the wall as a guide, Maneuver the pyro through the tube using your thrusting and sliding controls. If you get too close to a wall, back up and determine your position. To fly at an angle, don't be afraid to use multiple sliding and thrusting directions at once. In this exercise, only your sliding controls remain active. Dodge incoming turret projectiles by sliding in any direction. The trick is to just keep moving, but try not to bump into the walls or the force field above you. Your ship will take no damage, but try to avoid getting hit for 20 seconds. You're almost done. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Excellent. Now, move forward toward the flashing green light to continue your training. Good job. Keep moving forward to proceed to the next stage. Now we'll work on the rotational skills of your pyro. You can rotate along three axes, just like you move along three axes. The most basic is heading control, or turning left and right. Experiment for a while with your heading controls. The second type of rotation controls your pitch, or turning up and down. Freely rotate up and down for a while. The final type of rotation is banking, or rolling left and right. Use the banking controls to change your angle of horizontal flight.
Use your rotational controls to track the robot as he moves around. Keep him in your sights for 20 seconds to proceed. closely to learn about your Pyro's two main weapon systems. The primary weapon system draws from your ship's energy supply, or other ammo supply, depending on the type of weapon. Fire your lasers with the primary fire button. The secondary weapon system fires one missile at a time. Fire your concussion missiles with the secondary fire button. When you acquire additional weapons, use the number keys to select your preferred weapons. Now, Use your rotational and weapon controls to locate and destroy the stationary robot. Do the same thing again, but this time, the robots will move, so you'll need to lead by shooting slightly in front of them. 